the Shred Shed Podcast. Yo, what up? This is Earl Shreds, boy. And Sydney Shreds. Ooh. And this is your number one podcast. For all things rock and roll, music, or just plain awesome. Y'all don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got, at Earl Shreds. And don't forget to check out the website, www.earlshreds.com. Thank you. Everyone, before we get to this video, please be sure to check out the Patreon and earlshreds.com. You can help support me at Patreon for as little as $2 a month. It helps me to continue make these videos, continue to make these podcasts, and most importantly, helps me fund the live shows. If you haven't checked out a live show, please go to earlshreds.com and check out my schedule to see where I'm playing live. And if you want to see me play somewhere, please shoot me an email at dalton at earlshreds.com. Or a DM on any social media platforms and let me know where you want to see me play. Again, I thank you all for my support. And you can follow me and subscribe to me on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. I wish I said I had a millionaire baby daddy backer who was helping me. But if less, it is just lonely old me. I do do this for a living. So again, if you could check out the Patreon and be a super shredder subscriber that would be awesome and it helps me to continue making this awesome content and also again check out earlshreds.com for the live schedule and also earlshreds.com for the awesome earl shreds merch that you can get customized and made to order sent directly to your house love you guys so much thank you always for the support enjoy the video I'm glad you traded office chairs with me. Aren't you glad about yeah. that? Yeah, I didn't like that one. I have that same one at the Mommy. house. <laughs> Damn it. Mommy? <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> Look at this dirty. Oh, Toby. Oh, Tussie. Oops. Hey, Tuss. Welcome to the Tussie Podcast. Tussie, you got anything to say? <laughs> Aww. Ew. Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what we're doing today on the podcast? Uh, It says concert recap on here. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to do part one. This is part one. Is part one night one? I think band. Pantera. Oh, just band. So part one is Pantera. Night one and night two. Mm-hmm. Part two is going to be... <sighs> save it, don't say what it was. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> da baby. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Little baby. When he did the... It made me think of the beginning of... What? Master, Master of Puppets. Master of Muppets? Mm-hmm. It's been, it's been ages since we did a podcast. I know. I was thinking about that the other day. It's been good though. I've been needing some rest. The ha- the haters think, the haters think we fell off. <laughs> Have, did we fall off? No. Maybe a little bit. Just, it sounds like Avery just fell off her trampoline. Do you think I fell off? No. Fuck. I've fallen off. No, you haven't. Do you think I'm bussing? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, ready? Yeah. No, not for the concert recap. Guilt, biggest guilty pleasure band. Oh, man. Um, shoot. That's a tough one. A band you're most embarrassed to tell people that you listen to. Um, I wouldn't say embarrassed, but like, I don't know, what's yours? I was going to say like the Beach Boys. And that's, that's not embarrassing, that's not it's embarrassing. just, most people don't turn on the Beach Boys. This is my show, I'm, I'm asking I like to listen to the Beach Boys and Elvis. Those aren't embarrassing. That's my guilty pleasures though. 
<laughs> my, what would I be embarrassed? Jonas Brothers. I like the Joe Bros. My most embarrassing is I listened to the GoldenEye soundtrack on 10 Hour Loop. What is that? From the video game. I don't even know what that is. You remember GoldenEye on N64? Um, I would say any soundtrack from movies. That's my guilty pleasure. Disney songs. What's your biggest guilty pleasure Disney song? I have a couple. First one is Mulan. That's the best one. Everybody loves I that can one. Go Everyone loves that one. Um, that one and the Hercules song. Oh, okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, he hit his head. He just hit his head. <laughs> Aww. That was sad. He's, totally. He's fine. Um, uh, and I don't think it's Disney. Is it Disney? Can I? I can play. I'm gonna play you my. Is Oliver and Company Disney? Mm, or is that... Yeah, that's Disney. Yeah. Billy Joel did that whole soundtrack. Billy Joel did the Arist the Aristocrats? No. Oliver and Company. Oh, Aristocats? Yes. I, I love the Aristocats. Ting tong, ting tong. <laughs> okay. The very oh, end. Oh, that's... <laughs> the end. So racy. No, uh, that's, what he, that's what the cat sings at the end. Hey, Steve. What's up, Steve? Remember at the end when they're playing the piano? Okay, this is everybody. One. Everybody wants to be a cat. Everybody. Yes, ting tong, ting tong. Oh, okay, <laughs> don't do that. That's what the cat does. No, <laughs> I already see what you're about to. Play. No, you can't see it. I have good vision now, so. I no. No, sir. <laughs> this is one, one hour. <laughs> in North this is one hour of music, North Korea. No, sir. In North Korea, songs don't get names. Did you know if you have ADHD, like the Hertz frequency that you're supposed to listen to is called it's some kind of waltz. I don't remember the like number. It's like one. I think it's this something. song. No, it's the it's like the Game of Thrones song. No. Ow! Stop elbowing me. I'm never doing a podcast again. Sit down. <laughs> so how have you been? <laughs> What's been up? <laughs> Someone commented something. No, it's the North Korean song. What did, what did they say? He said, is this the... Is this the Russian broadcast song? Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite Disney song? My favorite Disney song? Mm -hmm. Um... Stop hitting me. I miss one Oh, toe. did we just touch weenuses? That was hot. I miss with my toe and you keep elbowing. Ew, me. stop. She's picking at her gout. No, I have I hate a toe it. that... Cindy's got some of the worst gout in the industry. <laughs> I do not. Anyways, what? <laughs> oh, Favorite oh, oh. Disney song. Favorite Disney song. Fuck, that's a hard one. Yeah, there's so many good ones. Let it grow. Fuck. No. <laughs> like the Moana. That song. I've only seen it twice. Oh, and I only watched it with Avery, actually. I can't remember. I used to play him when Avery was a baby, though. Yeah, she likes Moana. She watched it with me. Bussin? Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably move on. It's got to be... Which one? The... Be okay. a man be with it. the strength of a roaring river... Be a man. All the strength of a great a typhoon. typhoon. Be a man. It's all the force of a raging fire. Mysterious as the dark side of the, the moon. moon. Be, Be a, a man. man. <laughs> Can we play it? Is that music copyrighted? Probably, yeah. You know, Christina Aguilera sang one of the songs on Mulan. Yeah, I do want to sell it. And really? Mm -hmm. You didn't know that? 
The part where she's looking in the mirror. Uh oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Shing dang wing dang ling. No. You <laughs> said you said what I did was inappropriate. <laughs> ling ding ling ding 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 ling ding. I was just quoting the Aristocats. Some, some ting wong. Some ting wong. <laughs> some ting wong. Okay, this is part one of what, honey? Pantera. No, the podcast. Oh. This is part one of the podcast. What? Okay, everybody. Thanks for doing, <laughs> tuning in. Okay, I'm going to try this one more. What time. am I supposed to say? What? What is this podcast? What are we doing? Talking. It's a concert recap. Talking. We're talking. <laughs> My boyfriend is a podcast. He's famous. Oh, gosh. I wish. Can you believe I started in Devers, Texas and made it this far in the music industry? Have you seen that video where it says when they say you can't date an uh, older country boy? Lion King? Yes, sir. Lion King. Oh, yeah. What's the go to Lion King song? Um, the, you know, uh... And I just can't wait to be king. And I just can't no. wait. <laughs> <Eva. laughs> uh, or the uh, the ring no, the ring no, the ring no. I like the one with the the pig and the meerkat in the in the jungle. The pig and the meerkat. Yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah, Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah, Timon and Pumbaa. That was it. I'm not a 12. I don't remember the name. He's not a pig. He's a warthog. When I was a young warthog. Bacon is bacon, baby. <laughs> he's a meerkat? I thought he was a lemur. Did you know uh, the crazy thing? Which one was he, Timon or Pumbaa? Pumbaa was... Did you know that after that movie when he... You didn't he... even wait for me to answer. Timon. You asked me a question. Timon. Timon was the meerkat. Oh, okay. Pumbaa was the pig. Was the warthog. Pumbaa, after that movie, and he got his check. Did you know he got addicted to whippets? <laughs> Pumbaa did? Yeah. And he, the warthog? He did. And he went, they found him passed out in a dumpster behind the strip club. Oh. The guy that played Pumbaa. No, no, no. The actual <laughs> the warthog. The, <laughs> he let all the fame get to him. Oh, no. Not Pumbaa. What about Lion King 2? Is he sober for that? Lion Ting. A lion. <laughs> lion, lion Ting. Lion Ting 2. A Larry Boogaloo. <laughs> was he sober for that one? How do you know this? He was never sober. That was like in 92 when it came out. He was on Flocka during the entire filming of the movie. I don't know what that means. Fla uh, you don't know what Flocka? He was on Toad. Do you know what Toad is? No. I heard this, I think, on the Joe Rogan podcast. Toad? Do you know what Toad is? Uh, like a frog? No, it's a drug, but you know. No, I don't. The I think the American bullfrog, like the big American bullfrogs. You can if you squeeze them. Oh, they secrete like a. Yeah, and you can lick them and get high, but you can also like squeeze them. I thought they were poisonous. It's poison. Oh, but in yeah, those drugs are something. poison. Yeah. No, no, it will. It can give you a heart attack and make you crazy. You know when he said. What and there's rehab centers in Florida that are dedicated to people that are only addicted doing toads to toad. <laughs> no, when he said something about the toad, you know what it reminded me of? Our love it, life. <laughs> it was an Alaskan bullworm. I don't know what that's from. <gasps> SpongeBob. Oh. You haven't seen the Alaskan bullworm? I think it's a no, cave, and it's I just. I grew up in North Korea, and we only had one TV station. Caillou. No, yeah, Caillou, the great leader, Caillou, the great leader's Caillou. <laughs> Kim jong you. <laughs> Kim jong un I, I don't do some good. Um. What's your guilty pleasure band? You didn't answer that. Hanson. Uh, no, I hate Hanson. <laughs> Ugh, fuck no. It's got to be like... Or song. You can do songs. It, no, it's Taylor Swift. It's got to be Taylor Swift. You listen to Taylor Swift? I like a couple of her songs. Her pop songs. I hate it. Country Taylor Swift is garbage. All of it. 
No, her pop Taylor Swift is pretty good. She's not even pop. I don't even know what she is. I like that song she did with Sell Out. That's what she is. Yeah, selling out every night, <laughs> Arena, every yeah. show. Yeah, no fucking doubt. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy sitting here on it. Facebook every day going, Can I please get a gig? Nobody will fucking hire me. I'll sell out in a fucking heartbeat. What uh, song do you like by her? That Karma song. Karma is my boyfriend. Oh, yeah. I've still never heard that song. You sing it all the time. Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is my nana. I've never heard it. You belong to me. Oh. I don't and know. I, is Weedus a guilty person? I like Weedus. No. It's just a grown or 90s thing. All right. Well, no. We've talked about our guilty pleasure. It's time. What we're really? What are we really here for? Mandera. And log. <clears throat> yeah, we can throw log into this episode. What about flesh hoarders? And flesh hoarder. We can do them all. Okay, we can just make it about the day. Okay. So we'll, this is That's part easy. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, flesh hoarder was the opener. So we're starting with flesh hoarder. Yeah, you gotta start from the beginning. Show it's me a, your flesh hoarder. It's a very good place to start. So what did you think of Flesh Order? Um, they sounded like they're hoarding flesh. Recording recorded <laughs> versions, honestly. I didn't hear a word they said cuz they would say, "Hey guys, this is our new song we just came out with. It's called <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, this is our latest single." <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what they would say. And I had no clue what any of their songs were called. And the whole, and the whole crowd went <laughs> <laughs> Except for those two people beside us. I mean, they they were pretty hard, I guess. Do you think they actually hoard flesh? Uh, probably not. It's like, have you ever seen that that meme where it's like, it's like, <laughs> Cannibal Corpse lead singer is arrested for finding bones and skulls in his house, and then the next slide of the picture is like. From one of their albums, and the song is titled, like, I Have Skulls and Bones in My House. And, and they're literally like, called Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, and it's like, who would have thought? Yeah. So do you think... They're hoarding flesh? It's a good cover. Who would, like, if you name your band that, people wouldn't think that you're actually doing it. Exactly. <laughs> reverse... Psychology. Reverse psychology. <laughs> psychology. Re- reverse Miller Lite. What? Bud Light. Um, this I'm in the new Bud Light sponsor. You, you talk about me being all over the place. You can't finish one thought. Yeah, I don't have health insurance anymore because I got laid off from my job and I can't afford my ADHD medication. Okay. <laughs> so, the new and improved DP is back, baby. <laughs> this next song is called. <laughs> That's literally what it sounded like, though. Every time they introduced a new song, I was like, cool. Dude, I bet the, drum, Don't know what I it's bet the drummer was fucking exhausted. Oh, yeah. I know. Right in the sun. Incredible amounts of double bass. Also, I hate like metal bands. Like the, I don't hate metal bands, but when they their um, logo, I, you can't ever read them. I love the... The posters of all these different metal bands, and it's just like a bunch of scribbles. That's the point. Yeah, but how am I supposed to know, like, oh, that little curve right there, I know that that's flesh hoarders. Like They're hoarding their flesh. I know, but I, I wish they would make it a little more legible. They're hoarding flesh. My, so that's not what it used to be. It's actually better. So. Hey, my gay knob, will you, oh gosh, turn it up. It's the one on the left. Yeah, there you go. Bud Light. Oh, yeah, let's get a Bud Light. Toby, get out of here. No, I'll be nasty. Guys, I want y'all to know before we get into our next band on the part one concert recap, Toby's looking very fresh. Tussie, stop. He's just looking out the window. So do you have anything else to say about Flesh Hoarder? Uh, no, not really, other than the Ooh, two people beside us. Why are you saying it like that? Because, I, I mean, I don't know anything that they said. And the people beside us, I was watching them because they were having fun. That guy... I don't know if he actually knew the words, but he pretended like he did. Because <laughs> so, I didn't know the so, words either. So did I. I was, I was when Flesh Order came on, I was standing there just going, 
That's what that guy was doing. He was going. He, he literally was just going. <laughs> if you're just listening, Sydney was imitating the, the process of hoarding the flesh. <laughs> that guy had a bowl cut. <laughs> he left after flesh hoarding. I know. He only came. That must have been his kid or something. Don't come that way. Get that was out. that was his un- that was the uncle. Get. No, oh. come here, Toby. No, he can. He's, he can't cross those wires. He can. This next song is called. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come on. Hey, Justin Taylor said we make him cram. Uh, come here, Tussie. Uh, Whoa. Toby, what do you have to say about flesh order? <laughs> Toby, what do you have to say about flesh order? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Same. So, shout out to Flesh Hoarder. If you're into music that will... What kind of metal is that? Not Doom, but... Death Metal. Death? Yeah, Death Metal. No. I mean, they're hoarding flesh, so... I don't know. Let's look it up. I'm sure it says it. I think it is Death Metal. Dude, get... It oh. hit his head again? Stupid. Whoa. I miss his sissy. Let's see what it says on the old Google Flesh Hoarder. Is what type of metal? I guess it'll be in the bio. The Metal Archives. This is brutal Death. Brutal Death Metal. Members Renee Martinez, Angel Terran, Mike DeLeon, Nick Marino, and Adam DeLeon. Oh, brothers. Let's see. I wonder if we can... Latina. Oh, you can contact. We should email fleshhorder at gmail dot com. <laughs> <laughs> How original. Nice. I wonder. I need the bio. About right there, top right. Where? Right there. Country of origin. Oh, they're from San Antonio. That's sick. I was reading that. I don't want that though. They're brutal death metal. Sickness, violence. That's what it says. Um, but I hate that when the logo, you can't even read it. That's the point, dude. I know, but I, sometimes I want to see, like, if it, especially if it's a poster and I'm reading on Facebook of all these bands are going to be at a festival. Like, hey, all these bands are going to be there. Can you tell me the name of any of them? In fact, oh, I don't even want to say the name of that. Oh, with. Oh. Wow. Nice. Why don't you, like, do. Like, tell us the wrong title? Infatuation with men. No, you should. Like, you change each word. And I have to guess. Okay. I don't understand what you're wanting. Like. Um. Like, happiness. Because of dismemberment. Oh, just change one word. No, I changed all the words. The third song right there, happiness. Because what of, is the because point? of dismemberment. So you're just making up things. No, it's literally called gratification through mutilation. What a great song title. All right, anyways, next. Hold band. on, no, we're doing San San Antonio, Texas Flesh Order have unleashed their debut offering entitled Homicide <laughs> Homicidal Homicide. Necrophile. And it is one hell of a piece of brutal death metal mastery. I like how they said offered. The riffs are pretty straightforward, but still over up vibes from other genres. Flesh Order have undoubtedly set a standard with this release. So it's time for other bands of this genre to step up their game a bit. Damn, he's talking shit. <laughs> So, yeah, they're sick. Shout out Flesh Order. Now they got to open up for Lamb of God and Pantera. Yeah, that's the, I don't know, they only have like 9,000 followers on Facebook. Oh. And then we got to see the OGs after that. Yeah, who was that? Lamb of God, Log. Log put on a great show, per usual. We're doing a podcast, brother. Except I was really sad that, uh, what's his face, Randy? Shaved his hair. His dreads. Why? Who cares? Because I liked when he swung around. He looked cool. 
No, he's just bald. Um, <laughs> that, that was a good show, though. Are you going to say anything about it? I'm thinking. Hey, don't rush me. Don't you ever rush me. I am the man. I am the dog. The big bad dog. <laughs> Hold on a second. Say something. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. My mom asked me today if I wanted to be a UPS driver. Do you think? I said no. Do you think you, do you think you could do it? Probably, but I don't want to. I had a friend that was a UPS driver when I worked at the doctor's office, and he got written up for wearing black socks instead of brown. <laughs> Leroy. Leroy. The dog's assistant. Earl. Earl. Dog's drive. <laughs> oh, it's like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> <Dude>. You. <laughs> well, we were watching that the other night. <laughs> I didn't know this was about Dog the Bounty Hunter. Rest in peace, Beth. Um, his wife Rip. Died. Yeah, I know. Rip. Um, were you watching the episode with me the other night when, um, yeah. They were her doing baby basketball or uh, not basketball. Oh, wrestling. I'm talking about South Park? Yeah, and they needed a, a Jew accountant. <laughs> no, I missed that one. He literally said, Yeah, we needed a Jew accountant. <laughs> it was crack baby basketball. Yes. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's <laughs> terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most offensive show. But it's great. great baby, man. I want to get me a baby. <laughs> so bad. Hey, Steve said, have we heard Hank Hill cover Rich Men of Richmond? I don't even know that. Richmond. Song. Have you heard of it, though? Uh, that's that guy that blew up overnight. So everybody got mad at me because I said the song sucked. I have not listened to it. It's the most generic fucking country song in the world. That's what I've heard. But I heard he's a generic dude, so. Yeah, but that's what people love now, I guess. There's people doing that every single day. I mean, I'll look. I can literally. I'll do one right now. I know you can. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Marianne and Wanda were the best of friends. And Wanda were the best of friends. I've been sitting here with my dog in my truck And the government tried to take my dog in my truck I'm making fun of poor people Cause I'm from the suburbs and I'm paying to rent And you what? Paying to rent? Paying to rent Paying to rent? Paying to rent I don't know what you're saying Paying rent? Liberals try to take my job. I'm gonna keep my guns. And I'll never drink Bud Light again in my life. Hillary Clinton eats babies. Stop. <laughs> what about Hurricane Hillary? I It doesn't sound like the real dilly because I don't have a capo. They all have a Can you be my capo? Can you put your finger right here? <laughs> 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 I said, this is... <laughs> Literally, yeah, I know. What is the, what's the most generic country thing that dudes sing about now? Can I harbor them? That's not sad enough. Yeah, that's better. Can a major? Yeah. She left me when I was 15. My uncle touched me in my family reunion. No. <laughs> I drive a squatted truck. And I squat on them hoes. The sky's purple and my dog threw up. <laughs> uh, what do, I don't know what you want me to play, guys. I don't, I don't want you to play. <laughs> Actually. 
lifted her up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I've been selling propane. <laughs> propane accessories. Did he did Hank sing the song that the guy did or did Hank make up a song? It was like an AI. Oh. Uh, that's my favorite little riff. You know what mine is? Are you talking to me? That was so awesome, like when he would just played that riff and everybody just went crazy. And then the echo. Oh, dude, but that's part two. Oh, yeah, sorry. Duh. My bad. Yeah, get your... Anyways. And we're doing Lamb of God Yeah, right you, haven't, now. you haven't talked about it. You got your stupid I mean, it was, down. it was like, it was probably the worst Lamb of God show I've ever seen. Not because of no, them. I don't think so. I think it was... It's just they weren't headlining and the production wasn't as sick. Yeah, it was still cool though. Fuck Walk yeah. with me and hell was uh, lots of flames. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Pray for us. I know the lick too. <gasps> as soon as we started playing that, I was so excited. You said you were going to get a beer, and I said, I'm not leaving because they're about to play my favorite song. Watch. As soon as you walked off. That's like, your favorite song? Mm -hmm. That one. And... I like the breakdown. Because... Oh, yeah, and oh. it just stops, and you have to scream. What's my other favorite one? Redneck? No. Played it right after Walk With Me and Hell. Played the rest? No. On Muerta? They didn't play on Muerta. No, they didn't play that. Um, you know. Ruin? No. It's like, an, it's like a longer title. I don't know. Anyway, it's a song that, like, when we went last time, <laughs> um... I was like jumping on Braden yelling at him. Oh. You know. No remorse for, for the dead or something? I don't know. No. It was. Now sick. you've got something to die now, for. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Girl, you've got something to die for. I used to know how to play it. Whoa, is that a cop? Yeah. Guys, we are being actively raided by Joe Biden. Is that Joe Biden at the front door? Okay. Joe Biden, get. Get, get Joe Biden. Get. Yeah, I can see him on the ring. Oh, God. He's, he's taking his pants off. Joe, no. Oh, he just, um, Joe just soiled himself. What, honey? Yeah, that's my second favorite song. I know. I wish I could still play it. Oh, there it is. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> and then I like Redneck. You don't like Randy Bald? No, I like Randy Dreads. You don't like Bald Randall? I like Dreaded Randall. It was so cute, though. Mm, he's got a little tiny head. He's a little... Like yeah, I know. Like a little Q-tip. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of the olden days. When he was like <laughs> Satan. <laughs> now you've 
got something to die for. I wish I would have got a better scream and night time's the right time. What about Phil? So yeah, that was Lamb of God. And then the main Log. <laughs> that was Log. That was Log. That was Log. But the oh, main can we talk about the people yelling at us when we walked in? Saying talking about the real Lamb oh, of God. Oh, the Christian extremists? Yeah, they weren't actually they were a lot nicer than the ones at Stevie Nicks. When we went to Stevie Nicks, they were telling us that Stevie Nicks was bad. Steven Tyler is bad. Metallica is bad. Satan. Yeah, they said they kept talking about like everybody, how bad everyone was, and how we're like doomed to hell and stuff. But then we went to Lamb of God in Pantera, and they were just like, I was wearing a Lamb of God shirt, and they said, "Yes, Lamb of God, the real Lamb of God is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who loves you." <laughs> I was like, "He loves you too. Thank you." You know, there's a church in Humble nice. called the Lamb of God Church. Yeah, because that's. What Jesus' name is. He's the Lamb of God. He's Log. He's the Log. Instead of the goat, he's the Log. Yeah, he is the goat. I dropped a log. I literally sharted just now. Yeah. Thinking about Log. Um, yeah, I didn't punt hard on so we did, yeah. We saw Pantera. Fucking sick. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Pantera's the GOAT. Top, one of the best shows I've seen. It was top five show, best shows I've ever seen. Didn't know what to expect either. Me either. I didn't, I mean, like, I was excited, but I didn't have, like, super high expectations. Yeah, I was thinking, like, like, was, you know, like, an old band comes back after a long time, and it's like, you know how that can go. Like, their popular songs would go hard, but everything else would just kind of be like, yeah, this is cool. They sound all right. Not Pantera. No. Every single song was... Spoiler alert. First night, we saw them again the next night, but first night was better. Oh, yeah, because it was their show, and the production was insane. All the flames. I love Pyro. Yeah, Ethan loved the sign. It was so cool. Yeah, if you like fire like I do, you need to go see Pantera. All the flames. Especially, dude... That's the sign they when they used to tour when they were back when they were together and they were all alive. They had that. I think that's the same sign they had. I bet they put it in like storage. <laughs> you said that the other day and made me laugh. <laughs> Phil said, "Let's time to break the bitch out for a fucking show." <laughs> yeah, when was the last time they played? Did they say? I don't remember. It. In the nineties, right? I think they broke up in two thousand one. So the nineties. Or no, they, uh, yeah, I think their last show was like 2001. But still, okay, that was 22 years ago. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. What do they open with? They open with a new level, right? Yeah. A new level! It was so sick. It was. What was your favorite song of the night? I mean, Walk went really hard, obviously. Becoming. Oh, yeah. dun 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 bum bum I thought it was a tease that we didn't get Cemetery Gates. Mm. I mean, I get why, I guess. I guess. I could have let Zach do him justice, though. He would have. Yeah, Zach he, he did. Killed it. Yeah. That, I think I was most excited to see Zach Wilde. Like, I just. Me too. I'm a big Can't fan. Can't let you loser ass trolls on the internet fucking hating on him. Really? What? Because he was. Dimebag? There's no the real Pantera, Zach Wilde, and be, never be as good as Dimebag. Well, no shit. He even, like, makes references. Like, he wears that uh, the vest with Dimebag and Vinny's stuff on it. Like, he does a very good job of yeah holding up a reputation. Yeah, he and he don't need anybody to explain that to him. Yeah. did He debuted his new guitar, had the Dimebag lightning bolts, the blue, like, um... Wasn't the warlock, but it was blue with lightning bolts. But he that was the, uh, a debut guitar that he made in honor of Dimebag. Did you see that? I think I did. I mean, he played it. So he had he nothing saw. but sick guitars. Oh yeah, I like the OG Zach Wild guitar. Mm hmm. The white and black. Yeah, I like the one that's the SG mix with the flying V though. That one's pretty sick. Yeah. 
Hey, you said that the other night. The white one? Or is it the red one? They're all in all colors. It was so heavy. Sound was so... It was. Especially fr- uh, Thursday, Thursday night. night at the Cynthia Woods. Fuck, that was sick, dude. That was... Yeah, I had a lot of fun. That I night. fucking cried when during Cemetery Gates yeah, and Dimebag. I can't believe it. I know, I teared up. Dude, it was so sad. So many emotions. It was sad because there were so many, like, videos... F- great home videos too. Yeah, he just looked like a cool dude. Who, Dom? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Benny too, but. What's up, guy? <laughs> so like, dog. I need a shot. Somebody give me a shot. Somebody give me a black tooth. Oh my gosh. What the fuck's up? Today we're gonna rip it up. <laughs> we let her rip last night at the strip club with my boys. My shirt I got is a picture of. Dimebag getting punched in the face. Or is that Phil? No, it's Dimebag because he has the long curly hair. Mm -hmm. Beautiful hair. Yeah, it's that picture of him getting punched in the face. It's in the front of my shirt. Beautiful hair. I know. I'm jealous. Mine's not even that pretty. I know, dude. So many emotions. What a roller coaster of emotions. I know. Yeah, Phil came out in his cut off t shirt, basketball shorts, and jandals. And walked around barefoot <laughs> with his basketball. It, was, it looked like a dad. Like, cut yeah, off, cut the sleeves off his, his shirt. His roadie brings him his slivers. Yeah, and a robe, right? He put on a robe afterwards? No, it was a towel. But and he threw, oh, he threw towel. the towel in the crowd. Oh, it was sweaty. I know, I can feel sweat. Wow, I wish Kirk would sweat on me. <laughs> He's so cute. Story for another day. <laughs> He's so lame. Yeah, if you have the chance to see Pantera as the headlining, do that. Yeah, I mean, they killed it. I, I, I bet if we would have only saw them Friday night, we would have thought they killed that show. Yeah, but not like... But not the way they did the Thursday way. night. Yeah. That was an incredible show. Especially with the stage set up. Fuck. Well, 34 people viewed my LinkedIn. No way. Yeah, getting real popular on LinkedIn. I mean, you've been, you've been throwing up that fat ass on LinkedIn Live late at night. No. <laughs> and clapping them cheeks on LinkedIn. Absolutely not. Hey, guys, KPIs. <laughs> data points, data points. <laughs> Here. Oh. <laughs> this is what that stupid song sounds like. I'm working all day just to get my pay. <laughs> oh, no. He's... That's what Toby likes. I'll play it for you. I like to listen. I just always want to hear that tool song. Oh, I wish I could remember how to play it. Fuck. It sounded, I mean, obviously it was a recording, but. When they started playing that, I got chill bumps. I know, right? Mm-hmm. They I went, thought they were were gonna do the intro of the recording and then go into it. Me too. That. I was waiting for them. Uh, they were all on stage. I, I was like, so oh, they're gonna sad. go into it. That's. What, I thought they were gonna come in there. I gotta look, look it up. Fill it in. Where's the next show, honey? For oh, me? your cute little birdie background. That was cute. Isn't it cute? Did you pick that or is that random? No, I picked that. Oh. I'm a birder. I'm like a bird. I'm a flowery. I don't know. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. Tomorrow night is the merch release. I got merch fall too. merch at the Whiskey Barn and Earl Shred's merch.
and times. Then, you know what the, the and then uh oh yeah. That'd be a cool country song. <laughs> Try that in the small towns. <laughs> such a great riff but okay can we talk about just the depth of Phil's voice like when he talked it was just like you felt it in your oh throat. yeah dude like it's just because it's just so deep and like all right motherfuckers yeah it's deep and it has it's so much depth to it I think I, I know I can do that voice but I, I have like to put try. I, have to, yeah. I don't even have to try but I have to like think to do it yeah but like, he, you have a deep voice, too, with some depth, but, like, his is just, like, soul-clenching. I think that's how he naturally talks. Yeah. Yeah, because... But he goes... I have a guy at work that talks kind of like that, and, like, he's a country dude, but... Like, having the... There's no, no way a, other way to excri- describe it besides depth, like... Yeah, <laughs> you guys might know this song... Who hears their first time seeing Pantera? <laughs> I can't even... Uh, I see God! No. <laughs> uh, nothing like flesh for <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like, sounds like Rainy when she yawns. <laughs> I brought her to work today, and Maddie kept asking why she was making so many noises. <laughs> I said, that's just what she does. She just does. Uh, she does. She just makes lots of noises. <laughs> and my dog, she mind no, me no, so she good. She mind me so good. All right, so we'll wrap it up. What are we gonna rate it? Um, one through ten. Ten being the best. Show. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was a nine and a half. A nine and a half. Nine point nine. Yeah. I think. I'm Not already... the best show I've ever seen, but it was like I said, top five. Yeah. For show. It was litty. It was really it was shitty. Very fun. Real long. And we had a big group of friends too, so everyone was there. Yeah. The whole the whole gang. Real long. I saw a lot of country dudes there. Getting to see what real music was like. Oh yeah. Whole Earl Shreds band was there. Mm-hmm. Real long. Real long. That would be country cemetery. Is this some conspiracy? Crucified for my sins. Burn me in Greece. Burn you in Greece? I've been chilling down a dirt road. It's like Luke Bryan. Laid back, giving them ice cold. Um, Cassie sent me a video of a guy uh, impersonating like Luke Bryan at his shows, and the comments are ridiculous because it was like, he was pretending to be like Luke Bryan on stage and he had a solo cup and he was like, I just spilled my margarita on that cop right there. He was like, I hope he doesn't come arrest me. And uh and all the comments are like the best person at like I go to a Luke Bryan show just to listen to Luke Bryan talk. Like Bring your going on. Um She went down a dirt road. Like he should be entertainer of the year. Yeah, I want to hear Luke Bryan cover that. Richmond, North of Virginia song. I don't even know that song. I never heard it. I'm working all day. You said North of Virginia. <laughs> working all day. Welfare babies eating popsicles and hay. Isn't it called Richmond? North, North of Virginia. Of Richmond. Whatever. Who cares? I've been working all day. Just... Three of his songs are top ten right now <laughs> on iTunes. Trash. Garbage ass. I haven't listened to any of them. The the lyrics are garbage, he's garbage, and the actual song is garbage. He turned down an $8 million contract. Or a record deal. I mean. Give it to me. I'll, <laughs> I'll literally sing. I'll I'll do the... He said, you can give me four boats, two tour buses, and 16 cars, and I still would turn it down. I was like, I'll just take one. <laughs> yeah, obviously you ain't broke, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I've been working all day. Just can I have pay? the tour bus as a house? Yeah, I'll sing. I'll sing right wing songs. Yeah, I'll go full right wing. <laughs> go full right. If wing. I could get to, if I could get Fox News to use my song as their background, I'm working all day. <laughs> Fox News. 
Fox News. Yeah, you're what you're just listening to Fox News hosted by Earl Shreds. The Liberals uh, Welfare Queens. Uh, okay, that's enough. Baby's blood trade of chrome. Okay. Hey. Are you done? Ew, stop. Oh, stop. I wanna do we're no, doing live weenus licking no, ASMR. I'm done. You're done? Mm-hmm. So nine and a half? Yeah, nine and a half. Yeah, we, we killed this podcast. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah. It's hot as balls in here. You need to do something. There's too much going on. What am I? Um, You're just getting embarrassed. No, it's hot. We didn't bring the fan. What, what do you want me to do? Turn off some of these dang lights. Maybe uh, before next summer, maybe I'll like insulate the window or something. What do you think? Yeah, the front door, you can see underneath it. It's not insulated at all. But that don't have a I'm zero saying, reason. I'm just saying, like the house. Like, the house is pretty insulated, except for this giant window that's right here. And the laundry room is hot as balls too. And the bathroom. Yeah, because there's giant closet. windows and it's 110 degrees. Yeah. You know that you can. You know that you can. Hi guys, your house is a good podcast. You know your house is only going to be 20 degrees less than outside. Toby. You know that, right? You know that. Uh, I know it now. Thank you. Hey, no, no, no. You stay right here. Don't be I need my shoe, Sit. buddy. You're staying. Stay right here. No, I'm done. Stop. Honey, I'm about to sing Northman, Richmond of Northman or whatever. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm Winterfell. Or- no, I've been working all day just to get my pay. I, I mean, Game of Thrones, I made a got joke. <laughs> oh, hey, Me and Sydney started watching Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to watch it. After she talks shit endlessly forever. You're a fucking dork. When I met her. I didn't say you were a dork. Yeah. I just said I couldn't get into Toby, it. Toby, what are your thoughts? Closing thoughts. Jesse. <laughs> and that was and it. And fuck. Oh, oh. oh. Our guest. I've been working on just to end my... All right, guys. Check out EarlStrides.com. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to have merch. I got physical merch. Rock on, peace out. What does this say? Yo, DN still at work, and I had to tune in when I could. Stay gold, pony boy. Who was that? I can't see what it says. It was on a different... It was on YouTube. You can't see the username? It's too small. Damn. Everyone's going, baby. Whoa, that was a good little hop. Let's see. Bye, everyone. I love you all. Thank you, everybody that watched. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you want to check out more podcast videos, studio footage, live footage, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed to YouTube Earl Shreds, YouTube Shred Shred Clips, and YouTube Shred Shed Podcast for full podcast video episodes. Be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever you got. Love you guys so much. Please hit the subscribe button.